Good morning. Um, I just got back from the store. I went and I got some water, apples, and crackers. And so I love the saltine crackers. I don't know why. I just love them. Growing up, I would eat saltine crackers with butter. It was just like a thing in my house. We just love saltine crackers. I went to go get like food for this week for lunch. I just needed like some snacks. And there's that new brand Craven. I've never seen it at Walmart. Um, and I don't really shop at like Albertsons or Smiths or anything like that. I don't even know if there's a Smiths around here. There's an Albertsons and then we have um, City Market, which I don't shop there either. But at this store, like in my little town, the only grocery store here, they had Craven and I've seen it like, I think they've come like the last couple years. And some of their stuff is really, really good. I do like it. Some of it, I do not like the cookies, um, like the ones that you bake. Not good. We, me and my mom, like, did not like them. Um, but like they have other stuff that's really good. So I never tried their wheat, not wheat thins, their saltine crackers. So I decided to try them, and then I saw that they had wheat crackers, and. I've been eating like wheat bread at Subway for the longest time and then I just keep hearing like, oh, wheat bread's not good for you either. So I'm like, I don't know what's better, wheat or not, or white or something. But anyways, I bought wheat saltine crackers and I just had some and they are so good. I was like going back and forth since I've never had the Craven saltine crackers before and their brand is like hit or miss on some stuff. I was really nervous to buy them, but I'm so glad I did because it's so good. And I don't know if they're healthier than the normal wheat or what are you saying wheat then? Normal um, saltine crackers, but they're just so good. I have like two minutes left until my laundry is done. So I'm going to go do that in a little bit. And I've already, it's like done, done. So it's in the dryer right now. So I just need to go grab that in a little bit. And then I really want to wash my car. It is so dirty, like mud is hanging off. I don't know if you can see it from here, but mud is like hanging off of the mirror. Like it's disgusting. And my mom, my mom's husband, where he goes and gets his um, oil change, they give him free coupons for a car wash, but he's like, oh, my truck is just so big. I can't get it in the car wash. So he gives it to my mom. Well, there's like this new car wash that's been around, I guess a year now. And they, my mom does their like subscription type thing during the winter where like you pay so much a month and you get as many car washes as you want. So she's like, I'll give you the coupon for the free car wash. But I'm like, can a car be too dirty for a car wash? Because my car is so dirty and it's supposed to be 47 degrees today, which is insane. And so I'm like, can I just wash my car myself? You know, pre-wash it. You know how people like pre-clean their house before the make comes? Can I do that? Because I'm so embarrassed and that it's really hard to get to the car wash because the car wash is open when like they're open and they close when I get off work. So I'm like, when do I get it washed? Whatever, like, when can I get it washed? I can't do it after work. But I'm like, I think I can just do it. I don't know why I need this off. My alarm just went off. I can do it during um, my lunch because I get an hour lunch and it's super close to my work. So I might do that um, tomorrow, but then my, my car's gonna get so dirty again again because it's just so muddy. Actually, when I was driving back to from the store today, I was noticing it's drying up. So it's really nice that it's not like so muddy. So if I just drive carefully where the mud is, then I should be fine. And my short car should be clean for at least a couple of days. So I might go get my car washed tomorrow at lunch. I'm going to go get my laundry. Um, and then I will talk to you guys later. You guys, I think I really want to do a pickleball tournament now. So we are going to go out and see how 
Um, the court is because my mom built a court for herself. Well, and me too if I wanted to play. So we're going to see how it is. And if it's okay, we're going to play some pickleball today. And there's a competition in August. I don't know if it's a beginner competition. I should look that up and see. Um, but yeah, I think I really want to do one. I wanted it to be like my mom's thing. But I know she doesn't care if I want to do it too. So I think I'm going to do it. And the realtor that like I, I don't know, in a couple of vlogs ago, um, I mentioned that I like volunteered with this. Um, it was, it was called Kitchen Mana. It's where you can go and they, if you need food, like they have a little marketplace and you can go and get free food. And it's cool cause it's like every food, like if you're at a grocery store, it doesn't have like everything in a grocery store, but it has a lot of stuff in there. It's like plant-based stuff and vegan stuff and it's cool. Like it's a cool little place. Um, but I volunteered with a realtor and she goes to my mom's church and she saw her today and she like gave her the heads up that I might be emailing her and she goes, yeah, definitely have her email me and then we can get together. So I think I'm going to do that as well because I really want to like, you know, find my thing. So I put sunscreen on that has a little glow to it if I look kind of weird, but yeah, I think I'm going to like seriously look into realtor because it might be cool. My eye hurts so bad and I'm so tired because of how like bad it hurts. I'm just gonna stay here for a while. I want to like start using sunscreen. Oh my gosh, my eye. Because, well, I wanna start using sunscreen more. I use sunscreen, but I don't use it as often as I should. And as I say, sunscreen is the number one anti-aging and I bought the new e.l.f. Well, I don't know if it's new, but I bought the e.l.f. sunscreen and it has a glow tint to it. And every time I use it, it burns my eye so bad. I, like, it hurts so bad. And I put eye drops in. I washed my face. And it, it just, it, it burns. And I don't know what to do. I know I tried the Neutrogena sunscreen. Where is the change? I tried Neutrogena sunscreen, and I can't remember if I liked it or not. I wonder if I should try it again. But that elf sunscreen was $11. I know that's not expensive for some people, but for me, like, that's for, like, a tiny little... I don't know. I just think it was a lot, and I don't want to not use it. But it just hurts. It burns so bad, and my eye I just googled why does it hurt my eyes and I just saw a video that says to use a zinc sunscreen stick and they just put it over it like around their eyes but I'm like I feel like I don't put it in my eyes and I don't put it on my eyelids if I'm supposed to I don't um so I think I'm going to try to find a zinc sunscreen stick the one she used was from Neutrogena so I wonder if I can get it at Walmart. Another sunscreen that they said doesn't burn your eyes is the La Roche Pose sunscreens. Look, I have a tear. Can you see it? Um, so I'm gonna look into those too. It is awful. I'm just trying to do my best to wear sunscreen like I'm supposed to. And this is the worst that it's hurt. So I think I'm not gonna use that anymore. And I don't know. Maybe I'll give it to my mom and see if she wants to use it. But my uh, it just stings.